Okay, we're here with Deanna Miller, who is going to talk about her work on strategies for CO2 reduction. So we're trying to reduce carbon dioxide all the way down to methanol. Um, there's very much an energy-driven motivation behind our project. Um, methanol has been known as a viable transportation fuel, liquid transportation fuel. Um, one of the biggest things that we're interested in finding out is how the carbon dioxide is actually reduced to methanol. Um, there's lots of different heterogeneous and surface chemistry ways that they can take carbon dioxide to methanol, um, but they're not well understood. And some of those misunderstandings that they have are actually keeping them from being as industrially um, use useful as they could be. So we're looking at a couple different mechanistic um, pathways that could allow us to understand how carbon dioxide is reduced. And in order to understand it, we need to move to a homogeneous um, solution state metal catalysis system. Um, so we, we're trying basically to understand how this mechanism works in, in hopes to um, further the efficiency of the different systems that already exist. Basically, we've developed these brand new metal or these brand new ligand systems to help um, protect some of these reactive intermediates that we believe um, are really important in taking carbon dioxide all the way to methanol. Many people can take carbon dioxide um, to formic acid or to carbon monoxide, um, but those cannot be used as fuel sources. So if we can uh, isolate a couple of these reactive intermediates in this cage-like system, we call these cage ligands, and they protect, they allow the carbon dioxide and methanol to come in and out, and as well as small protons and electrons, but they prevent bimolecular uh, decomposition reactions that often prevent the formation of methanol. So I've been successful in doing a lot of theoretical calculations that have um, helped our research progress as far as how high our cavity needs to be or how small in order to protect these um, reactive intermediates. So there's a lot of results um, from that as far as like what metals we should use and um, how many carbon linkers we should have in our cavity between the cap and the base. Um, we're working on a, quite a few different synthetic approaches, so we can either take two smaller size pieces and put them together in the middle, or we can work from the top down or from the bottom up. So we're working on all three of those different routes simultaneously to figure out which will be the best. Um, I specifically am working on these two here, and I've, I'm working on three different syntheses right now, which are outlined here, and quite complex, but I've been able to synthesize the ligand and get a nice NMR of it, and as well as do one methylation reaction to get a metal. Um, so from here on there, we're just working on reacting that metal complex with carbon dioxide um, to see what kind of adducts that we can form and hopefully generate some of the reactive intermediates in order to understand how the reduction of carbon dioxide to methanol works a little bit. And uh, the end result of this research mm -hmm. in the future might be uh, CO2 capture and reuse as a fuel from yes. the stack of a power plant? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you very much, Deanna. No problem.